Hello, my name is Jared Myers and I'm a technical theater student here at Austin Community College. Welcome to the Fall 2020 Curtain Call, an evening of student performance, design, and theater technology. This semester has been full of ups and downs, juggling a new way to learn online. All of the students in these programs have persevered and have created amazing work in this difficult time. This showcase features the work from students in 11 classes, from capstone courses like Acting 3 to Theater Appreciation, an ACC core class. Thank you to all of the ACC drama faculty and staff for their work this semester and in producing this showcase. We would also like to say thank you to all of the ACC drama students who have created exceptional work in some challenging circumstances. Although we cannot all be in the theater together, we will keep working diligently, learning new techniques and perfecting our craft. Sometime in the near future, we will be able to bring you live theater and be reunited at last. And with this, please enjoy the Fall 2020 Curtain Call. Welcome to Radio Epidemic Season 1, Tales from the Congress Avenue Bridge. Think of your family. Yo, don't worry about me, hermano. You ever seen one of my movies before? You know, uh, Interstellar, The Dark Tower, Dazed and Confused. I do all my own stunts. Yeah, I've seen them, but didn't they CGI you into space? No way, Jose. I'm an actor. Oh my god. It isn't collapsing. The span is, is rising. The owls and the bats, they're lifting it into the air. The owls came to help them. If we are the music capital of the world, then shouldn't we act like it? There, you got it. See? Oh, thank God. Finally. Oh, it's windy up here. I can see the waves on the water. You're shaking. We're both going to fall. Breathe and stay still. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! T, I got you. I got you. We can cross the bridge, find a restaurant on second, maybe. I can't remember what's good around here. You're supposed to say we should ask them to bring picnic stuff and we can have lunch here. I don't want to say it. What? I don't want to do this day anymore, Joe. Oh my god. Come on. Uh, thanks for these chips. Uh, Eric? Wow, what a handsome friend. Dude, tell him. Tell him now, Eric. Tell him, Eric. God, okay, fine. Ryan, I think you're really cute. I'm in the middle of the Running bridge. Running driver diagnostics. Ugh. Please, be quick about it. Some guy just gave me the finger and he won't stop we staring. We detect that your heart rate is elevated and your palms are damp. Is there a problem? Is there a... Of course there's a problem. I'm stuck in the middle of Congress Avenue Bridge with no air conditioning in July and my car turned itself Restarting off. Restarting climate control. Is that better? We have only your best interest at heart. Mortals, behold. Uh, does anyone else see the giant glowing bat? My feet are moving too fast. I'm flailing. I fall. Right there in the middle of Cesar Chavez. When I look up, the bridge is no longer my bridge. It's from another era. Wooden, rickety, currently occupied by a herd of cows. Bridges are magical places, holding secret the stories of those who cross them. Over the semester, this course traces the progression of theater technology and design from 400 BCE to the modern era across Europe, Asia, and North America. We focus on examining how theater relates to other social, artistic, political, and religious ideas, and how that relationship is reflected, especially by design and technology.
For their transformative research project in this course, students conduct practice in an area of theater design or technology for the purpose of researching historical methods, technologies, designs, or spaces. Students choose the topic of their investigation and devise a project that will connect that topic to contemporary practices while also illuminating its historical origins. Before the early 1900s, theatrical productions were largely designed to reflect the dominant artistic movement of their time. Director Max Reinhardt developed a different philosophy. A production's concept and style should be chosen by the director to best reflect the themes and storytelling of the script. In that spirit, for their final project in the history of technical theater, students use a contemporary script and reimagine one aspect of design or technology in the style of any historical time period that we have examined. Students apply research methods to create a new synthesis of two different time periods. The results are inventive and exciting. Everything is one thing. Everything is in everything, and it's and it's all part of the whole the whole big one thing. Do you believe this? Raise your hand if you believe this. Interesting. So the rats, the maze, and their brains teach us that memories are not localized in specific parts of the brain like a filing cabinet, but are instead distributed throughout the entire brain as a whole. Pretty mind-blowing idea. And like any mind-blowing idea, and like any mind-blowing idea, these findings had rival scientists lined up ready to shoot holes right through them. Excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. So, uh... So, uh, how many of you have ever tripped out on mushrooms? If you have, let's, let's actually, let's actually, don't, don't tell me, but, okay. Uh, let's go back to the radio. Uh, but first, time. The Stage Makeup course provides students with an introduction to fundamental application techniques using traditional makeup supplies and tools. Students familiarize themselves with a variety of cream-based makeup products, as well as essential tools such as the stipple brush and eyebrow brush. As a project-based course, each week students learn increasingly complex techniques, which they then apply to the current assignment. Students are required to utilize relevant research in order to create a suitable character for each project, while also incorporating the necessary techniques addressed in teaching demos and instructor video tutorials. In addition to working with traditional makeup products, students are also introduced to special effects makeup, which they are then required to incorporate into their character designs. Some of these products include bruise and burn wheels, gore effects palettes, and liquid latex.
Classwork is focused on the creation of realistic effects, smooth transitions, and the proper application of latex appliances. As the course progresses, projects become increasingly more elaborate and incorporate non-traditional materials, such as wire, textiles, foam, and paper, in order to create sophisticated, fantastical characters. This semester, students in this course pushed their own artistic abilities, challenged themselves with new materials and techniques, and created unique interpretations of characters, ranging from the hyper-realistic to the avant-garde and outrageous. unkind befriends me now and for that sorrow which I then did feel needs must I under my transgression bow unless my nerves were brass or hammered steel for if you were by my unkindness shaken as I by yours you've passed a hell of time and I, a tyrant, have no leisure taken to weigh how once I suffered in your crime. Of that, a night of woe might have remembered. My deepest sense, how hard true sorrow hits, and soon to you, as you to me then tender the humble slave which wounded bosoms fits. But that your trespass now becomes a fee. My ransom is yours, and yours must ransom me. Students taking Introduction to Collaborative Design develop their skills as collaborators by creating a series of performances that use theatrical design elements primarily for narrative.
For their second performance in the course, students retell a fairy tale with no dialogue or narration using only scenery, lighting, costume, props, and sound. You really, you actually believe that you're the victim here, don't you? You actually believe that. I had the FBI come to my dorm room. They took my car, they took my credit cards, they took the TV, they took the computer, and you weren't there. I had to get on a bus, book mom until the holiday end. She had three suitcases with everything she owned in them. She was going on and on about the unfairness, the political, it was all political, there was no evidence, it was a travesty, it was injustice. On and on, the whole night she was shaking, her whole body was shaking. And where were you, Dad? And Annie. Annie's six months pregnant. Her three-year-old son is crying. 
He wants to know why his grandfather is on all the TV channels. She's having panic attacks every three hours. They need her to calm down. They think she's going to deliver the baby prematurely. She can't calm down. They want to give her drugs. She doesn't want drugs. She won't take drugs. She can't calm down. She doesn't know if her husband is going to have a job in the morning. Because suddenly, everybody who has anything to do with you, anybody who has ever so much as met you, suddenly... Everybody is a suspect because you are toxic. You ruined people's lives. Everything you say, you're incapable of telling the truth, aren't you? I pray you tarry. Pause a day or two before you hazard, for in choosing wrong I lose your company. Therefore forbear a while. There's something tells me, but it is not love. I would not lose you, and you know yourself. Hate counsels not in such a quality. But lest you should not understand me well, and yet a maiden hath no tongue but thought, I would detain you here some month or two before you venture for me. I could teach you how to choose right, but I am then forsworn. So will I never be, so may you miss me. But if you do, you'll make me wish a sin that I had been forsworn. Be sure your eyes, they have overlooked me and divided me. One half of me is yours, the other half yours. Mine own, I would say, but if mine, then yours, and so all yours. All these naughty times put bars between the owners and their rights. And so, though yours, not yours, Prove it so. Let fortune go to hell for it, and not I. I speak too long. But tis to peace the time. To wake it and to draw it out in length. To stay you from election. Pro to Costume course accumulates in a final costume design project at the end of the semester. This project consists of costume renderings for select characters in a play and time period of the instructor's choosing. This semester, students were tasked with creating four costume renderings for characters in William Shakespeare's Othello, set in the early 20th century during the Edwardian and World War I historical periods. Students spend the semester learning figure drawing skills and watercolor painting techniques and then use this knowledge to create their renderings. These must also include appropriate titles, backgrounds, and finishing work, such as inking and pattern rendering.
The goal of the project is to utilize topics discussed throughout the course, such as color theory and basic design elements, in order to create detailed and thorough costume designs that speak both to the historical period and to the world of the show itself. Students also present their renderings to their peers in order to receive feedback, as well as to see how others are designing their characters. By doing this, students are allowed to interpret the show in their own ways, and no two sets of renderings end up looking the same. We were married. Everything was ours. Future contained any number of possibilities. But with each year, each month, and each day, those possibilities narrowed to a single point. But it all somehow seems inevitable now. It all boils down to this. Clark's size four. I told her, not red. They won't let you wear red once to school. They have to be black or gray. But they won't be told, will they? Kids. Well, I don't know. Go home and make her a cup of tea. The Character Makeup and Special Effects course is an advanced level class that focuses on the creation of prosthetic appliances using a variety of mold making techniques and materials. In the class, students are introduced to the mold making process, which involves the creation of both negative and positive molds in order to create individual prosthetic appliances. The mold making process begins with life casting, which can be done on practically any part of the human body. Students in this course use dental alginate to take impressions or castings first of their teeth and then of their faces. This process is time sensitive, complex, requires precise measuring as well as a specific sequence of steps in order to create a successful casting. After castings are created, students then must create positive molds of these impressions using a variety of materials similar to concrete, such as plaster of Paris and hydrostone. After this, the fun part begins, and students use oil-based clay to create unique, detailed sculptures of everything, from uneven broken teeth to horns, chins, and noses. Students are introduced to a variety of mold-making materials such as dental acrylic, gel foam latex, and liquid latex, as well as paints and adhesives that correlate best with each type of material. Though there have been many challenges in this course, each student embraced the projects with enthusiasm, creativity, and a desire to learn that has been impressive and inspiring to see. towards Phoebus lodging. Such a wagoner as Phaeton would whip you to the west and bring in cloudy night immediately. 
red, like closed curtain, love performing night. And runaway's eyes may wink, and Romeo leap to these arms, untalked of and unseen. Lovers can see to do their amorous rites by their own beauties, or if love be blind, it best agrees with night. Come, civil night, thou silver suited matron all in black. Learn me how to lose a winning match. Played for a pair of stainless maidenhoods. Hood my unmaned blood batting in my cheeks. With thy black mantle, shall strange love grow bold. May true love acted simple modesty. Come night. Come, Romeo, come now, day and night. But how wilt lie upon the wings of night, whiter than new snow upon a raven's back? Come, gentle night. Come, loving black brown night. Give me my Romeo when he shall die. Take him and cut him out of little stars. But he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night. Pay no worship to the garish sun. If I have bought the mansion of a love, but not possessed it, and though I am so not yet enjoyed, so tedious is this day as is the night before some festival. To an impatient child that hath new robes and may not wear them. <gasps> oh, here comes my nurse and she brings news and every time that speaks, but oh, Romeo's name speaks heavenly eloquence. Now, nurse, what news? What has said there the chorus that Romeo bid thee fetch? tools for entertainment technicians. Entertainment Technologies is an advanced course for students to learn to navigate the computer programs that are standard in their respective fields. Costume technology and makeup artistry students use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop to draw, paint, and texture costume and makeup designs. Scenic construction, lighting, and media technology students learn computer-aided design program Vectorworks and create scaled 3D models of ACC Drama's new black box theater space. Students in both tracks come together to experiment with other software that is prevalent in professional theater. This semester, as theaters across the country have explored methods of streaming performances, students created virtual stages and open broadcaster software.